Today, a new playground in Arlington will be named after Amari Harley. He's the little boy who drowned in a septic tank. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live. And Brittany, tomorrow would have been his seventh birthday. Bruce, that's right. Four years ago, Amari Harley uh, was body was discovered here in a septic tank four years ago, back in 2017. And today there will be a special ceremony naming this park after the boy in honor of him. Who he passed away here four years ago. And if we come over here, this is the septic tank where this happened. And over year the years, there has been progress made to prevent future tragedies. As you can see, there's a fence surrounding the septic tank and several locks to seal it closed. Remembering Amari Harley, the boy was at Bruce Park in October 2017 and died in what authorities call an accidental drowning after falling in an unsecured septic tank. He was there with family for a celebration. More than a year later, Amari's mother sued the city and two contractors who were in charge of maintaining the tanks. One contractor settled with the family and the other was dropped from the lawsuit. The city is still in litigation with the family. After Amari's tragic death, Mayor Chris Curry vowed to secure the septic tank lids. Five months later, the city spent more than $837,000 to replace the lids and make it safe. 193 city septic tanks are now secured by heavy metal lids with locking devices. The News for Jack's Eye team later found the same tank where Amari died had been the subject of two previous complaints filed with the city. An inspector also found it was unsecured a month before the boy died. Tomorrow would have been Amari's seventh birthday and the dedication ceremony will begin here at Bruce Park later this afternoon at 1.30. And this is where they will unveil the naming of this park. So, of course, we will keep you updated. Reporting live this morning from Arlington, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.